welcome back to the channel it is turtle and yes we fast forwarded a lit a little a lit <laughs> we fast forwarded a little bit simmed some season and we only got one extra win so just out of simulation that shows how bad this team has been we're gonna go through some upgrades this canfield is gonna get two He will be playing an 83 overall, playing down as an 82. Metcalf, going to get plus one. Remember, as I say, playmaker for wide receiver. One awareness, two ball carrier vision, one juke, one medium route, one short route. Kenneth Walker. An 85, or an 86, sorry playing down to an 83. Eric McCoy going to get a point. Playing up to an 80, or playing as an 82, playing down as an 80. Didn't want that. Keldon Underwood going to get a point. We're going to give it into Agile. He's playing as a 78, an actual 80 overall. Superstar out of Alabama. Charles Cross, the tackle from Mississippi State. Playing as an 80, playing down to a 72, or 78. Connor Smith, quarterback. Superstar dev, mind you. Man-to-man -man upgrade, plus three Amer awareness, one man, one play rec, one tackle. Hunter Harrington, the rookie guard. As we, He was a center, but drafted... And then switched out of Notre Dame. Quincy Griffin, Iowa State running back. An awareness, ball carrier vision. Oh, no. I thought he was Iowa State. Lionel Harris out of Kansas. I think we'll get to find out his depth rate here as well. Star Dev. Not bad. Toby Hoffman. Plus one in vertical threat. A lot to like in there. Florida State tight end. Kevin Samuel, the California corner. Gonna get plus one man. Landon Collins. I think I care about any of these. Let's see. Andrew Mills gets one skill point. Gotta be strong arm. <clears throat> Ninety-two throw power, medium accuracy. I mean, it's just it's just meh. Troy Anderson, <clears throat> great player. Seventy-eight overall. All right, the rest can upgrade themselves. Season 23 recap. Cleveland Brown, Browns win the Super Bowl. Deshaun Watson, quarterback, uh, Super Bowl MVP and NFL MVP. Doug Peterson, coach of the year of the Jaguars. Jonathan Taylor, offensive player of the year. Aaron Donald, defensive player of the year. Darren Hutchinson, the brother of Aiden Hutchinson, quarterback of the year for the Vikings, rookie of the year, sorry. Defensive rookie of the year, Javante Hendricks on the Cardinals. All right. Got 98 million here. As it sits, I think we'll have more. Mock draft number three. We have the first pick, and apparently it has us taking a round three or day four receiver, number one overall. We will be trading that pick. I don't want anyone one overall in this draft. Take a look at the retirements. 
Thielen, Cameron Hayward, Calais Campbell, go Jags. Uh, Cam Newton. Nothing really crazy. I saw T.Y. Hilton there. Ooh, just got a chill. That wind is cold outside. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 29 degrees in Florida. All right, let's take a look at the combine. Actually, let's not take the combine. We are going to go straight to the juice. 98 million signed free agents. View free agents. Justin Herbert is in free agency. Wow. Justin Herbert. Now I feel like I feel I feel like if we did this it would be cheating. Mike Evans. Do we need another kicker like that or receiver? Now Brady Brady, I could I could get a little bit more behind because he's forty seven. He's an award winner and a franchise quarterback. He doesn't want to be here, but but Trevon Diggs wants to be here because of his brother. Cam Akers wants to be here. Gabrielle Davis wants to be here. What can we get from wide receiver? What are we looking at? T. Higgins. That would be fun. Brandon Ayuk. That would be fun. Van Jefferson wants to come here. Darius Slayton. Quez Watkins. Cedric Wilson. Any young players? Probably not at the young players, right? Young players will be next year. Yeah. Now, see, I see... I see Mike Evans. I don't want Mike Evans. I do think I want T. Higgins. That would be sick. Brandon Ayuk would be sick, too. Devontae Parker. Eh. Gabriel Davis. Hmm. Left guard. Really not anyone. Center, definitely no one. I mean, are there no offensive linemen? Brian Burns. Hmm. I'd love to get Brian Burns. We have good, we have good corners. Miles Jack wants to be here. John Johnson wants to be here. Jedrick Willis Jr. wants to be here. Left tackle. Defensive tackle Ed Oliver may not be a terrible pickup. Grover Stewart. Stewart. Clowny. Hmm. This free agency is not as juiced as I would like. I'll be honest. If we get Brian Burns, where do we put him? 
Do we go 3 4? Do we go 3 4? <clears throat> Renard has star. Harris has star. Six two two sixty. Eighty eight speed. Could we put Renard at left outside linebacker? Because he's too small to be a defensive tackle. But God, having Brian Burns on your team. How much will we lose if we cut him? Get a penalty at 2.6. Hmm. Burns is a left outside linebacker. I love Renaud. He truly plays better, honestly. But he's a superstar X Factor. But my oh my, that's a lot of money. Let's make the offer, see what it looks like. The Texans are going to pay him Boku monies. I'm not paying you anywhere near that, Tom Brady. You are smoking some kind of bad drugs. Uh, yeah, no. No, you know, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna keep going. Which would Herbert want? God, he'd want a lot. Three hundred thirty-two million. I'll offer you that. How close does that get us? Patriots are going to pay you, huh? I don't want Cam Akers. Like, I don't. We take Gabe Davis? Offer on T. Higgins. See what that looks like. Actually, no one's offering him. I can't believe no one's offering on T. Higgins. Also offer Gabe Davis. Offer him less though. Twenty one mil. Okay. Could also offer I ah, know. That's that's just stupid. Do need a defensive tackle. Who's it? Ed Oliver. Wait, what? Let's withdraw on Burns. 
you need a defensive tackle. That's big. Put us in on that all over. It does. All right. Let's evaluate the offers and see where we stand. All right, we got Trayvon Diggs. That's nice. T. Higgins still not taking our offer. Gabe Davis has been offered more by the Panthers, and Ed Oliver still not moving on him. So let's up the money a little bit more for Gabe. We'll give him more bonus money. Okay. See who still hasn't signed. Burns did sign with the Texans, and why wouldn't you? I mean, I would give you so little money. But if you want a team, a team I'd pay you that if you want a team Miles Jack still hasn't signed Could sign Miles Jack and shift him over. Targeted five. That's four. All right, let's get Miles Jack. How old is he? 28? See if that works. All right. That puts us in the lead for everyone. So we got Gabe Davis. Okay, now the Texans want Miles Jack. And the Broncos want Ed all. Anyone signed Tom Brady? No. What do we think that he actually goes to like no team and I can sign him for a real one year? That'd be wild. I'd have to do it. I truly would. Back on top with him. Get 
to withdraw on him. That's really what he's going for? Who else can we snag? AJ Dillon? No. Got good backups. Chase Edmonds? No. Jonathan Grenard, 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 whatever. Like, don't these guys know we have cornerbacks? Why does always all the cornerbacks want to come here? Miles Jack is just old and I don't want to give him a four year deal. I'll offer him Brady. Fuck it. We offer a little bit more for Brady. Wait, now it's negative twenty two million? We're not getting it all over. How does this, what? How does that put me negative 12 mil? So wait, these players are real free agents now? Like, what? T. Higgins got no offers except for mine Herbert to the Patriots Tom Brady still no team T. Higgins, still no team. Mike Evans, no team. Ayuk, no team. I didn't even see Russell Wilson in here. All right, let's take a look at <clears throat> the free agents. Not the free agents, the prospects. We have the number one overall pick. We looked at this guy. Let's look at him. Fast as fuck, boy. C awareness, A carrying, B ball carrier vision, B deep route, C juke, A kick return, D medium route, B release, A run block, C short, A spec catch, B spin move, C stiff arm. Bryson Claiborne, I like you. I like you a lot. 
Let's look at the big Florida receiver. 6'2", physical archetype. A, catching traffic. B, catching. C, deep route. B, release. Number one in strength. Or, sorry, number one. Yeah, number one in strength. Number two in vertical jump. Number one in broad jump. Let's take a look at Mike Cheeks. A, catching traffic. B, catching. B, deep route. Elite strength. Second strongest. Third in jumping. Look at this slot guy, the day three. Where is he? A catching traffic, A catching, D release, fast, B awareness, B ball carrier vision, C break tackle, A catching traffic, A catching. Yeah, he he has to be taken. And then we looked at the center, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That guy has to be taken as well. And then the defensive tackle with A Finesse, Speed Rusher, he also has to be taken. 290. And a, a lane filler, 6'5", 340, 304. And then you have this left outside linebacker. 4'5", 2. I mean, this linebacker looks outrageous. good Evan's still not to a team Tucker not to the team Brady's going to Carolina T Higgins no team Ayuk no team Who else were we offering? Oh yeah, Brady. Did we get in on Ayuk as well? No, 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 no. We're gonna draft receivers. None of the DTs. We just hope T. Higgins signs with us. I mean, he has no offers. Absolutely wild. He did sign with us. All right. Nice. Nice. We wore him down. T. Higgins. All right. Let's get private workouts here. Let's private workout. This defensive tackle. Let's private workout. That center. And let's private workout. We 
guess we can private work out the left outside linebacker. Look at let's look at our picks. We have two first round picks. Alright, I like that. Is that two seconds as well? Two sec three seconds and a fourth. Okay. Okay, we can make this work. Start the NFL draft. Make sure we have all that built. Okay. Let us see what offers we're getting. Texans are picking second. First and a second next year and a third. A first this year, a first next year. They're giving us pick two and round three and next year seven. It's not terrible. They're giving us a five and a two and a four. They're giving us a three this year and next year two. A four, a next year second, and a next year seventh. I don't know, man. I think the Texans. Or no, not the Texans. The, uh, the Titans. I don't want to lose the receiver. I think I saw the commanders picking him. All right. Because I don't see anyone as number one overall. Where is the receiver? He's 11. I think we go with the Vikings. Oh, that's close, though. I don't know how much I like that. Vikings are getting the number one overall pick. They're going to take the linebacker out of Florida. Texans on the clock. Take the linebacker from LSU. Saints. Cornerback, Ladarius Woodson. Commanders 
on the clock. It'd be crazy to take him. You gotta take the right end. Take the right end, Lewis Abbott. Titans. Matthew Gardner. Falcons on the clock. Dalvin Burks. Lions don't need a wide receiver, right? They do not. They're probably going to take the middle linebacker. We're going to look out here. Lions take Darrell Pierce, free safety out of Ohio State. In division trade are they going to do that to us <clears throat> linebacker corner tight end right end yeah they really shouldn't they really shouldn't rams take mac james the tight end out of miami and the seattle seahawks with the ninth pick going to ring in Bryson Claiborne out of USC hidden dev 99 speed 97 acceleration nice pick nice pick <clears throat> the Raiders gonna take Bernard Beverly out of LSU the defensive tackle Corey Jackson the right end <clears throat> how far is this left outside linebacker oh, he's around one, two. Wow. We actually might end up getting him. Jermaine Kaysen, the defensive tackle out of Florida, going to the 49ers. Deshaun Warrington, middle linebacker, Oregon State. Leonard Kramer, the corner out of Vanderbilt. Bills, taking Mike Shaw, big wide receiver from Florida. Colts, Adrian Johnson, left tackle out of South Carolina. The Dolphins going to take the right tackle. Michael Spencer and the Chargers will take George Hall to be the replacement of Justin Herbert. Not big shoes to fill at all, guy. Not big shoes to fill at all. In division, Cardinals take Deshaun Smith, linebacker, Texas. Another middle linebacker off the board, Matt Emery out of Auburn. Patriots taking Monte Benux, defensive tackle Clemson, and the Jaguars taking Mike Cheeks, the big receiver, out of Georgia. Broncos taking Akeem Payne, another big receiver, out of Virginia. The Bears going to take Stefan Tobias, wide receiver out of Washington State and little did we think that we were going to get handed both the picks that we wanted out of trading out of number one we are going to take the left outside linebacker Craig Cook and he looks incredible 87 speed 91 acceleration 81 change of or 81 agility 78 change of direction 73 jumping 75 strength and he is hidden dev. 
the Packers will take John Thomas, corner, Notre Dame. The Eagles take on Jason Malone, left end, out of Oklahoma. The Chiefs will take Alec Bachman, free safety out of Oklahoma. The Ravens, Luke Walter, middle linebacker, Notre Dame. The Panthers, who newly acquire Tom Brady, will be taking Zach Weston, running back out of Ohio, or I, Ohio, Iowa State. The Cowboys will take Dion Chamberlain. Dion Chamberlain, Dion Sanders. Is there a link? They play the same position, and that sounds about about it. And the Texans getting the Browns' first round pick too bad for them at the back end they will take charles freeman free safety or sorry left in out of ohio state now let's look at who we want let's go to favorites all right, defensive tackle, Florida. Defensive tackle, Georgia. That's the one we want. Why do I still have all of these people? Um... Let's look. Defensive tackle. Georgia. 21. So we have some room to trade down. Let's look at what we can get for trading down. We pick at 7. first rounds okay we got a first round and a fifth round first round and a seventh round first round and a fifth round first round and a fifth round that's a fifth round this year first round and a fifth round this year Think the Buccaneers are winning the Super Bowl? I kind of like that. A first and a third next year? That's. Yeah, I think we're going to bet on the Bucks not being good. And the Bucks will trade up for the number one pick in the draft. And we're just going to sim to our user pick. not going to mess around. We're going to take the defensive tackle from Georgia. A finesse moves. Hidden Dev. 85 strength, 80 speed, 77 jumping, 81 excel, 69 agility. Nice. And 61 change of direction. And we have a pick in two picks. I don't think we want anybody right now, do we? Let's see what we can get. We can sneak another first round from the Bills. And that's what we're trying here for. Trying for a first rounder. From the Packers, we can still sneak a first round. Chiefs, we can sneak a first round. Chiefs, Packers, and Bills. Okay. 
I'm going to go with the Packers. But we also need to make sure, actually, we have another second round. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. We'll, let's trade with the Packers. We're going to trade with the Packers. Thank you. Sim to the next user pick. The next pick is at the top of the fourth round. So we wanted the center. Is the center still here? Oh, he got drafted. Did he really? A 3-4 center got drafted. Hmm. That sucks. There's some way I trade back into the third. Because I don't think this wide receiver is here anywhere close. Tackle doesn't look bad. A awareness. I don't like the F pass block or run block though. Brad Sharif, not Sheriff. Sharif. Real creative. Donovan Vic. All right, let's see if I can obtain Can I obtain a third? Love a 2023 20, 2024 third 2023 20, 2024 third how come no one wants to give me a third hmm How about it? Who has a third round pick? third and a fourth for a second oh, that's a fifth third and a fourth and a fifth always ask more just in case it goes through third and a fourth you can have next year's seventh both of next year's sevenths oh 
All right. So we got the commander's third round and fourth round pick. This I feel more comfortable taking the receiver. Is that him? I'm going to lose my fucking mind if that's him. Okay. Ooh, he's a top five talent? Wait a minute. He's a top five talent? And I haven't noticed this the whole time? Oh my god, you guys are probably screaming at me. Normal dev, 96 excel, 91 agility, 96 change of direction, 86 jumping, and 95 speed. He's a top five talent. Holy fuck. How have I been missing that? Anybody on our board? Beverly. Eh. Eh. Justin got something. Garth Moher. Maybe. Martel Smart. DeAndre Duncan. protecting still not great athletics that's great athletics AJ Bolden I don't take him at the top there either with two fourths defensive and B power moves F tackle this guy looks all around decent take him normal dev just a plug and play kind of guy defensive tackle defensive line is kind of thin figure we try and then this is the one we will take the guard with and we'll hope he can play I think it was him right And A.J. Bolden out of Auburn. Normal dev. But 87 strength, not terrible. And 
Oh, we have another pick. Okay. Forgot we had two fourths. He's falling so bad. <clears throat> Randy Cody. This guy looks good. Oh, he didn't do the call at the combine, but he did do the pro day. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> Brinkley. Not that strong, but he's very fast. Could be a good guard. What if we moved him into guard? Take the better of the two. A impact block? strong but he's not agile so we cannot put him at guard <clears throat> don't think we need a tackle replacement be awareness a impact block fuck it we just take the center hidden dev garth mower nice we went with it And it turned out to be a great pick. So this is going to be the draft recap. Let's see how we did. A 75, a 75, a 70, unfortunate. Terrell Arnett is a 78. Holy shit. <clears throat> Let's see the NFL. Rank it by highest overall. Ladarius Woodson to the Saints. Highest rated. Zach Weston to the Panthers. Second highest. Darrell Pierce to the Lions. Another high rated player. <laughs> and Terrell Arnett going to us. Darnell Divins. Alonzo Hunter. We got the highest rated left outside linebacker. Yeah, we did. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, 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 75. Let's go till we see us again. I think we did good. This center has hidden dev. That guard, not that great. That other defensive tackle, not that great. That defensive tackle, eh. So we hit with our third round. I think we did good with our first rounds. Second round was kind of a miss. Fourth round, we hit one. I'll take that. I'll take that. Metcalf, T. Higgins, Gabriel Davis. Holy crap. Imagine signing two receivers and smoking two receivers in the draft. We are going to have to trade. We are going to have to trade.
Okay. What is his... What is... What is homie's tag as a corner? QB of the future. Do you imagine if I just sim 10 years? All right. Let's see if we can fill some holes, get a mentor quarterback. Let's see what we can do. Matt Ryan is a mentor. Kirk Cousins, a mentor. Taylor Heineke, nothing. The boat is a QB mentor? Dude, of course we're bringing the boat back. To mentor. Of course. We are going to pick up another running back just in case. Kenyon Drake. They're all elusive backs. JD McKessick. Duke Johnson <laughs> is a receiving back and the best one. Gus Edwards, power back. Sure, let's bring in Gus Edwards. Sign him to a two year, to a year. Um, need good wide receivers. Marquez Valdez Scantling. Do we want to pay him that? I don't think so. I think if people go down, we'll be all right. Marcus Joiner. Nick Scott. I think we'll be okay. All right. This is also what we're going to do. Actually, I have to go. NFL rosters. Then I have to go to center. Then we have to go here. Then we go edit player. And then we be oh so careful not to see anything. And we move him to a left guard. He was a 68. Now he's a 70. Now we have our starting left guard. And we have him. And we have him. All right, now I think we unfortunately bite the bullet. And... We see what we can get from Mr. Gabe Davis. Imagine, you just got signed. You're so happy. I'm so happy. We get a two and a three for Mr. Gabe Davis. Holy shit. Wait, what? Seahawks, we don't feel we can afford to move a player at position right now. Okay, well then, <clears throat> I don't, I don't get that. Let's skip one week 
see if that makes any difference. <clears throat> I can really get that. Oh, I'm about to get a, a first round and a fifth round for Gabe Davis. Fuck it, just a first straight up. Why can I not trade him? Oh, do I have to sign somebody? I might have to sign somebody. <clears throat> Zay Jones. Come play for me, Zay Jones. Now let's see if we can actually get him for something more. Maybe somebody else would pay more handsomely. first round not even close <clears throat> Falcons we giving up a first round not even close <clears throat> If the Bears really want him, then I'll just fucking send him to the Bears. Gabe Davis for a first round pick. Now, I know we're going to take a little bit of a cap hit for Gabe Davis, and that's fine. <clears throat> Sense is we drafted a top five talent receiver out of Florida. And a really good deep threat. And we signed T. Higgins. This is where we're going to leave it. Weirdly, we're the exact same. An 84, 84, 84. I think we were at 84, 83, 83. But that'll be it for this. This is a long off-season episode, but I think it was a good one. If you agree, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. That's out. That's out. That's it. Peace.